it's spring break, maybe they would go someplace warm and sunny and, and sit on a beach. But really, the students that we have coming uh, mostly are looking to enhance their field experiences. Whenever I have an excuse to get out of the city, I want to jump on it. It's a special, special thing to be breathing the fresh air out here, be close to Mount Rainier. It sounded like fun. <laughs> I had never done anything like this before and I thought it would be a good chance to get a feel for what a forestry job would be like. Pack Forest was donated to us by Charles Lathrop Pack in 1926. So from that time we've always been about demonstrating uh, sustainable forestry. This morning we went through the process of showing them a number of sites and now they're out practicing today what, what we were talking about this morning. I have actually not planted many trees in my life. so. It felt really good to start putting them in the ground and thinking that it could potentially become one of these big guys around here one day. It's a cool thing to like plant something in the ground and know that that's gonna grow. Every student that has been here um, has received some training that's helping them in the next step in their career. There's certainly a lot that they learn and they become tied to the land and understand what it means to be part of a place which is pretty important in terms of thinking about forestry research. So many products come from the forest, but if we're not sustainable in our practices with the forest, if we just clear cut and then move on and clear cut and move on and don't really take the time to understand the ecological processes that are at work, we're gonna really undermine our ability to continue to utilize these products. So I think it's important that people understand what is being done here in Pack Forest and then going and sharing that knowledge. It's only a week long and I don't know, it's just right there. Why not do it? There's lots of time for a vacation <laughs> other times.